Welcome to Moto Garage, everybody. This is a quick update on my 2021 CRF 450R. Things that I've done to it, things that I've noticed. Um, so far, it has been a phenomenal bike. I have really zero complaints, honestly. There's people complaining about the map issue on YouTube that you've seen, I'm sure. It's not really an issue, I would say. Every once in a while you'll kind of notice it, but it's not like a, a deal breaker kind of thing where it's just annoying and constantly happening. Uh, this thing turns on a dime. They've completely slimmed it all up. The radiators are tucked up underneath the frame and stuff. I mean, I'm not going to go through all the specs. You've seen all the videos through all these other YouTube channels of everything that they've updated and changed and all that. I'm not going to do that. So I'll give you the rundown, what I did, what I noticed. So far, I've taken uh, four clicks out of compression on the front forks. I added some air bleeders, little push button air bleeders. Um, I left rebound the same. And then the rear shock, the only thing I've done, set sag. And I slowed the rebound half a turn. Really, that's about all I needed to do. I'm about 170 pounds. Um, give or take. Um, the videos that I've added, unfortunately, our moto tracks were closed down over here for winter and everything. They're opening back up soon. This is going to be my moto bike. But the clips I added were from the desert. Um, I ride a lot of desert. I race with all these guys. They're all pro am racers and A class uh, 450 uh, racers. So just to give you kind of a frame of reference speed wise and stuff like that. Um, anyways, I've, I've added a hour meter. They didn't come with an hour meter. Kind of surprising. I know brand new bike. Most bikes do. This one doesn't go figure. Um, I've changed out the grips. I did not like the Honda grips that it came with. I moved the bars to the forward position because the rear position, it felt like the bars were kind of just in your lap the whole time. It was, it was really awkward for me. I'm about 5'10", so... Maybe a shorter rider, it works out pretty well. Um, did not work for me. Uh, <laughs> I added some ASV levers. Um, really, that's about it. I added the Yoshi exhaust. I mean, other than that, the bike is stock. It's got about 15 hours on it now. And I have really no complaints. It's a little dirty right now. As you can probably tell, I haven't had a chance to clean it up since the last ride. But some of these clips that I added were uh, three days back-to-back -back riding. So the initial first few clips are, you know, bike set up, trying to get it dialed in and comfortable. And then you'll see as the clips progress, you know, we progress. And it's picking up speed, hitting stuff faster, moving, moving, moving. And uh, till the very end, we're, we're doing about 70 miles an hour through the whoop sections and stuff. It's uh, It's really been... Uh, an amazing amazing ride I uh, as you can tell I love Honda well maybe not the rest of the bikes aren't here but I absolutely love Hondas I had a KTM before this and just didn't care for it it had too soft of a suspension for me and rather than dumping a bunch of money into it uh, as a KTM a 2018 KTM 300 by the way so instead of dumping a bunch of money into it I decided Let's just sell it and pick up a true moto bike, something that we can take to the track. We don't have to change up suspension, whatever, you know, dump a bunch of money into. And this is where we ended up. So hope you all enjoy the videos. Um, brand new to YouTube, so please share, like, subscribe, everything. We'll be filming a lot more as, uh, as the year goes on, trying to get out a lot more make a lot more of these races this year. I've kind of been off the map for last about eight years or so, kind of just hitting a few races, a few different series every now and then, but uh, I really, really plan to get back out there. I've been enjoying this so much, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. What's going on, everybody? It's uh, bright and early here, a couple days before Christmas. I don't know if you can even see me, but uh, as you can see, the truck bed's empty. Well, maybe not be able to see, but truck bed's empty right now. You may ask what I'm doing. Taking a little trip and uh, coming back with something pretty special. So stay tuned. 
So here we are, as promised. This was worth the drive. And every penny. 2021 Honda CRF450R. Now, seven hours back home, and just in time for Christmas Eve, hopefully. See y'all next time. Valves and all that stuff for motocross. It is. Not this shit. The power was great. Yeah, I think it was, a. Uh, I think it's turned down right now. Because <laughs> it's so hard to hang on to and it's real aggressive. You barely touch it and it's like, rah, 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 like trying to torque away. Yeah, it gave me like instant one point. Because it's trying to pull away from me. Huh? Yeah. That's At what one point you're almost yeah. just, I've had the same issue on yours. I'm just not used to where the power is, so I'll give it. And it's like, it's like I, I kind of look for the thing I, and it doesn't do much, but it keeps the momentum. But I lug it with those and it's like trying to get away from me. Did like you have it on the high power mode? Be even worse if you did that. Yeah. It's too touchy. That's what I was saying. That's like on the aggressive map. It's too touchy. Like you barely give it, and it's trying to just rip out of your arms. No, I'm gonna turn mine down. This little hill over here, like the, out of the wash, it cuts to the left. And there's some tracks going that way, and I went up on top of like they're not over here. Yeah. Well, 
I think that's where we went. There was like some whoops, but, and then it went back down into the arroyo. Like a real wide trail? Wide set of whoops. Oh, maybe I did go the right way then. Yeah, there's two two whoops right there. Okay. I just couldn't stand spending money on something I wasn't going to ride. Did you trade the other one in? I sold it. Sold it outright? Somebody in town? No, a guy drove out from California and bought it. 8500 bucks. 8500 yeah, It was brand new. He was trying to buy one in California and it was going to be like 14000 out the door. So he's like, I'd rather just drive out, spend a few hundred bucks in gas. and. Brand new, still had 16 hours and 357 miles. Shit, I already got 16 hours on this. <laughs> I think I already have about 8 on this one. You just didn't like that one? Just the suspension, dude, it was so soft. And then... The, that's worse than this one. Yeah. Yeah. Far, yeah, that's by far, like, so much better than that dang 6 days I had. You couldn't trust it for nothing. You'd try to go into a turn, it would just wash out, the front end would just disappear on you. Yeah, I can trust, I feel like I can trust this bike pretty well. That's, that's what I was noticing going from your bike to mine. I was like, it's probably just I'm comfortable on it and I know how it's going to react. But like going into stuff, I'm just so much more confident. So that one is really silly. And I didn't want to look. I'm sure that's just. happen with anything though. Eventually you're gonna have to get something, new springs, whatever, even if you keep that one forever, you're gonna have to respring it eventually and it's gonna be the same process all over again. Probably needs that now. <laughs> <laughs>
think it's about time for a new bike. Dude, I thought you crashed or something. I just saw a bike parts. I was like, oh shit. <laughs>
right, guys, that's it for this time. Um, I know there wasn't any footage of other riders, you know, being able to see me and the bike in action. So we're going to get some other riders with some GoPros for the next ride that we go out. But uh, till then, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll get some more footage so you can see what it really does, how it handles, you know, how well the frame flexes and so forth. Um, one thing I didn't say earlier is th this thing corners on a dime, but it also doesn't take away from the high speed stabilization. That's usually a big problem with bikes that can turn real good is they usually lose a lot of their high speed stabilization. So that's a huge, huge plus on this thing. This, this bike is awesome. So if you've been thinking about getting one, I say do it. It's quite a it's quite a bit cheaper than like KTM and stuff. That's the only thing I can really compare it to is it feels like one of the new KTM 450s, uh, like rider geometry, the the slimness of the bike and everything. That's the only real comparable thing I can really compare it to. Um, some of my other buddies uh, they just picked up you know 2021 YZ 450s. Uh, my other buddy just picked up another uh, 21 KTM 450. Uh, that's it's really the best I can compare it to so it's a phenomenal bike see you guys later